11 years after her husband was brutally burnt alive in the 2002 Gulbarg Society massacre, Ehsan Jafri's widow Zakia Jafri is likely to file a protest petition challenging the special investigation team's closure report, which gave a clean chit to Gujarat's Chief Minister Narendra Modi and others. Her husband was burnt alive in the 2002 post Kothra riots. And ever since then, the widow of Ehsan Jafri, Zakia Jafri, has been fighting a long battle for justice. Today, Zakia Jafri is likely to file a protest petition against the SIT's closure report in the Gulberg Society massacre. We are going to go to the Zakia Jafri's plea will contest the Special Investigation Team's report, which gives a clean chit to Gujarat Chief Minister Narendra Modi and others in the post riots case. If you have a report, you can report over a year ago, the Supreme Court had quashed a trial court's order denying Zakia Jafri the permission to file the protest petition. And today, the family is hoping against hope to bring those behind the Gulberg massacre to justice. There exists uh, uh, enough evidence to prosecute many of the individuals which were named by my mother in the complaint. Uh, just a one-sided uh, closure report uh, is not... Uh, that uh, uh, will be uh, like killing a justice. Zakia's fight for justice is far from over its seams. After a year-long legal wrangle post Raghavan SIT closure report that gave clean shit to Narendra Modi, she got entire list of documents on High Court's orders and now believes that she has a case that SIT did not go through all the evidence provided by her earlier. The closure is no closure yet. The SIT has submitted its closure report, but with Zakia Jafri now contesting the special investigating team's report, for the family of Hassan Jafri, the fight is far from over. Bureau Report, Times Now.